Grand Rapids Opportunities for Women is making some changes. For 30 years, the organization has helped women business owners in West Michigan. It will continue to do that and a lot more. Melinda Isasi is the CEO of Grow. Nice to see you. And Grow is the official new yes. name. Yes, That's one change. Know. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Thanks for having us. For 30 years, though, there has been, you know, you guys really have had this amazing mission in helping women, yes. and that also won't change. Absolutely. Yeah. So really the change from Grand Rapids Opportunities to Women um, to grow is recognition that our work is beyond Grand Rapids. We're certainly here, and it's beyond women. Um, our portfolio is a mixture of men and women, um, those who might not have any gender that they identify with. Mm -hmm. Really, the focus is on those who have not been able to connect to traditional lending markets, and we want to make sure we can support them with small business loans. That's what you guys have been doing, especially in the last two years, because the pandemic really was eye-opening. Absolutely. I think the pandemic recognized that organizations like Grow and other what we call CDFIs, or community development financial institutions were those economic first responders to small businesses. So small businesses create two out of every three jobs in our communities, and so we want to make sure that they have the capital and support so that they can stay here in West Michigan. So you're a micro lender. Yes. Explain what that is. Yes. So we have the designation of micro lender through the SBA or the Small Business Administration. So that means the types of loans that we're doing are thir are fi thir ah, fifty thousand and below. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, our average loan size is around eighty five hundred dollars. And so we want to be that first to respond, to elevate those entrepreneurs, and to recognize that you know, amount, that might not seem like a lot to individuals, but can mean a lifeline to small business owners. Sure, that certainly can help them get off the ground. And you've done that over the last couple of years too, 69 new businesses. Absolutely, and yeah. so it's the businesses that are started that can continue. It's the businesses that create new jobs or retain those jobs. Those businesses go out and they spend that money on their supply chains for ingredients and other services that they need. And so we need to continue to support small businesses coming out of the pandemic and just recognizing that there's increased costs to these business owners and challenges with the labor market as well. And I know it's not just with the initial loan. You're with the company then sort of yeah. every step of the way. Yes, we'd like to think it's pairing both the capital, the money, and the knowledge. And so mm -hmm. making sure that those things exist. Because sometimes businesses are coming to us, they have the plan, they just need the funding. Sometimes they need the knowledge before they're ready for the loan. And sometimes it's those two things together. And we hope to have an ongoing relationship with them. And then ultimately, they might go to another larger CDFI and get more beyond the 50,000 and even we have stories where those have left grow and gone to traditional banks or credit unions for additional funding to grow their business. How can people get in touch with you and to find out they are eligible? For this? Absolutely so we are over a nine county region the best way to connect with us as we launch this new brand our tagline of elevating entrepreneurs is to go to growbusiness.org and to connect with us and we'd be happy to talk to individuals to share what we're doing we have some job openings and always looking for partners and, and business owners to connect with. Excellent well it's great connecting with you today. Thank nice you. to see you. Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much. All right. Thanks, Michelle.